Okay, question B. A pole has a length of 5 cm. It is placed obliquely at corner E. So obliquely means what? Obliquely means it is not straight. That means it's slanting. Okay, it's slanting. So if it is slanting and it is at corner E, so it's going to be somewhere here. So you got this point E is here, the corner E is here. So you got a stick that is 5 cm tall. Uh, sorry, 5 cm long. But this 5 cm is not straight because it's it obliquely. So that means you can either um, face, wait, what they're saying? A stick is used to join top of pole G to corner A. So that means the pole is going to be um, from G, let's say the top of the pole. So that means the pole, let's say the pole is like this. This point here is point G. Okay, let me change the color, then you can see. So you've got a pole here. And the top of the pole is pole the point G. And they want to connect a stick. Because they say that they're going to connect a stick is used to join from G to A. So that means the stick here, this stick here, this one is point G. They're going to connect a stick to, to A. Okay, so this is the pole and this is a stick. Okay, so they ask us to find what? They're asking us to find the minimum length of the stick okay so the stick is the the stick is connecting from g to a huh? so let me redraw this okay so you have from from a side view if i look at the side we can find we can see this right so you got the here okay so this is point a okay this is the this is a this is e and then this is the corner here lah. what's the corner there uh, D okay, so this is the D, and then we have already found uh, we have already found AE, right? We have already found AE from the front part here. AE is 18.216. So if I got a line here, may I have a line here A to E 18.2146, and then now we want to form a we want to draw a stick. Wait, wait, before that, we also know that AD is 4cm because we know the height here is 4cm. Correct? So the height is 4cm. We have to label this here. It's just to help us, you know, in case we need any of this. And what else? Okay, so we know this is 4cm. And we got a stick, sorry, a pole. A pole is 5cm. So the pole is at the corner E here, right? So the pole is not going to be upright. Huh? It's not going to be upright because they say it is placed obliquely. Obliquely means it can either be slanting, it is slanting, maybe slanting like this, or maybe it is slanting like this. Okay, we don't know how. We don't know how it's slanting. But logically speaking, because they say find the minimum length of the stick, you're going to connect the stick from pole G to A. So if I put the pole like this, okay, if I put the pole to so this point G, right? So the, the the stick is it going to be the minimum length from here to here? Do you think this is going to be a shorter length compared to this if I put the stick like this? Here point G. So obviously this one, if this the G is at this position, the length is going to be even shorter, right? So this will be the minimum. We're not going to find this. Okay, we're not going to find the the first one there. So that means it it is most likely that the G is slanting like this. Okay, the pole is here. So from here to the point A. So this is the stick. Okay, so this is the stick that we are looking for. This length. Okay, GA. So uh, they also gave us this EAG is 15 degrees. So EAG is 15 degrees. So let's label here. So this is 15 degrees. Okay, so we are looking for the length of the stick. So let's say this X. Lah. Okay, so yeah. So what can we do? Do we have any other information? Oh yeah, they say 5 cm. So the stick, the pole is 5 cm. So this is 5 cm. So since you want to find, so we can actually form a pair, right? You see, so this angle and this length can form a pair. Correct? And this length, since I got this length, I can also find this angle because this will be another pair opposite so we can use sine rule okay so what will we do with that that angle with that angle what we can do is 
we can have find this angle then we can use since we know this one is 15 we also know this we can find this angle okay once we have found that angle we can do again cosine rule so because this angle and this stick here is one pair and then this length and this angle will be the second pair so we can use sine rule again to find the length of the stick okay so that means we have to do two sine rules the first one is to find angle g and the second one is to find the x okay so that's what we are going to do so the first part is we find angle g first okay we find angle g so angle g over uh this opposite oh, sorry it's supposed to be sine sine g over the opposite is 18.2146 equals to so this two is one pair equals to uh 15 degree right so sine 15 over the opposite is 5 cm over 5 okay so bring this up here becomes times and then shift the the sign you get the inverse okay so what you will have is g equals to so i bring the 18.2146 becomes times right so 18.2146 times sine 15 over 5 and then sine you must shift you must inverse the sign okay so you find you can get your angle g so what is angle g you you will get two answers okay first we find the reference angle first so the reference angle is 70.537 okay but since we are doing for sine for sine and this is a positive value sine positive value there are two quadrants okay all science teacher are crazy so which one will be the positive quadrant a here is all and then the second quadrant so second quadrant is 180 minus the reference angle so we have the reference angle here so the second angle we will get is 180 minus 70.5 sorry 70.537 okay so i'm not going to write this i just going to straight away write the answer so 180 minus 70.537 will give you 107 109.463 okay so you'll have two answers here now the question is which one are we going to use okay which one do you think is the more suitable answer for angle g so the answer is actually the 109 why because you look at this angle here it looks more like an obtuse angle than an acute angle if the stick is over here then yes this angle will be an acute angle then we will take the 70.537 but since we know that we are looking for the shortest length the stick right so the pole has to be slanting towards closer to the uh, point a so that means this angle here is going to be an obtuse angle so we cannot take the we cannot take uh 70.537 we have to take 109 okay so this angle g so this is 109.463 okay so now we can use to find the this angle here okay this angle so angle uh g e a g e a that means this angle here is going to be 180 minus 109.463 minus 15 degree okay so when you minus you should get your answer 55.537 okay so this angle e here this gea is actually okay let me write down here no space 55.537 degree okay so we got this angle now we can do the second sign rule to find for x so the pair will be what x and this angle here this one pair the second pair can be 15 degree and the 5 cm both are opposite each other so we can do x over sine 55.537 equals to 
um, the angle is eh, sorry the length is 5 cm so 5 over sine 50 okay so I bring this up so it becomes times so x equals to 5 times sine 55.537 divided by sine 15 okay so you type this in your calculator what will you get you should get your answer 15 point 5 sorry 15 point 928 or 929 or some people write 93 also can okay so this is your answer this is in what cm okay so that's how you solve this question